guys welcome 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 <clears throat> it's gonna be weekend energy his and hers okay so we'll do we'll do her overall energy his and hers weekend energy as a collective energy okay so her overall energy Okay, we got the two of wands and the star. So, she's hoping that, looks like more or less she's hoping that something will come in. A dream, a wish, going in a new direction. She's got a back turned towards him. Let's see his his overall energy for the weekend of August twenty eighth, twenty twenty. His overall energy. Ooh, he's got two two. <laughs> okay. No, oh, no, he's. Friggle sticks. He's got four. Okay. He wants to communicate. He knows you're obviously defenseful. Okay. I think he's thinking... Well, it has to do with rejection. So the feminine must have already rejected. Or there, there's something where it's like, nope, back is turned. He wants to communicate. I really feel like... <clears throat> hold on. Okay. Well, right now... Okay. Let me see if I can take the shine down a little bit. It might help. Might help you guys a little bit. Hold on. Let me just do this. Okay, she definitely wants a new direction. She's not she's not taking no bullshit. She's either being guided or It's in hopes, just looking forward to something new direction, back is turned. He wants to communicate. I think he's worried about rejection. He either knows she's guarded or he's guarded. So, let's see. Back to the feminine. She's just resting, not doing, she's resting, not doing much. She's inspired though. She knows her, her growth, her own, not settling. She won't take she definitely won't take breadcrumbs. She wants the real deal. Okay. Um, could be dealing with a Leo. I don't think so, though. Uh, possibly, but I feel like the sun's saying there's been, you know, a lot of growth. Yeah. She walked away. So you possibly did walk away from a Leo or somebody that's in Leo energy, okay? Or there just wasn't enough growth. There wasn't compromise. There wasn't teamwork. She's looking for a new cycle. So it looks like within this sun energy, there's a new cycle kicking off of her. She's got a new idea. She could be being guided. If... 
by any chance there's a third party scenario, she took herself out of the equation, she walked away, focused on work. Let's see what this King of Pence is up to. So the feminine's walking in a different direction. She's going into a new cycle. King of Pence. He's going within. Or he's being quiet. He's being secretive about something. Possibly a new start where and how to offer a coin and then we got the lovers so that might might be a third party here this king of coin is stressed out feminine's coming in all shiny What does this offer? I don't know how you're going to feel about um, this offer. They're, you're dealing with somebody right now who's awfully guarded, worried about rejection. Yeah, they definitely want to offer. What is this, lovers? So you might get um, some communication. I don't... I don't know if you're going to block it. I don't see the hermit on your side. You could be blocking right now. Um, we have the queen of cups for the lovers. What else for the lovers? High priestess. That could be two different feminine energy. And we have the Queen of Swords. Okay. So there's, there's probably three people. So I don't, this could be a secret. Secret communication, a, a secret offering. Let me just see what this high priestess is real quick. Yeah, someone secretly wants to reach out and move forward. Someone's got a new perspective on something. So if something was a secret, something's going to come out so something can move forward. Looks like someone changed their mind. about moving forward. I just want to find out what this star energy is real quick for the feminine. So a masculine might come towards you this weekend and try to have communicate, try to have a new stat. King of Pents. So this star is the King of Pents too. You got the death card, the king of pence, and the three of cups. This could be a spiritual transformation going on. Well, there's no hopes, right? Because she would be going in a new direction. Her back's turned towards this. She wants a new cycle. Could meet somebody at a party, <clears throat> or you might get together and have dinner. But this is something that was. This was something that was over, and you're awfully defenseful. You're keeping your options open. You're at two minds when it comes to this situation too. So it looks like something's over here. 
you might be going back and forth here and there, but ultimately it looks like you completely walked away. If this energy tries to come back in, it's it's the same thing. It's, what's this Eight of Cups? So to me, you've already walked away from this energy. Eight of Cups, please, over the weekend. Two of Cups, Queen of Cups, Two of Swords. So yeah, yeah, two, yeah, two minds again. Yeah, you're just kind of like can't get this energy out of your head either. You don't know what to do. So this energy might come in and try to communicate with you and you're like, mm, I really don't know if I should block the communication, open up the communication. There's, there's definitely passion. But I think you're more looking at your own passion, your own your own future, you're the one that wants a new direction. Let's see what this wheel is real quick. Make sure you don't repeat something. I don't see anything on repeat, but you've dealt with this person before with the Four of Cups. Judgment, Princess of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. So yeah, it, it, you don't know whether or not you're going to give a second chance or not, or just fight to be who you are on your own. Princess of Wands, adventurous. It, it's almost like this energy is going to want a second chance or you're passing judgment on this energy. You don't want to give up, but it looks like you already walked away. So you all have your own reasoning behind that. It's almost like this. here comes this energy, right? Wanting forgiveness or a second chance. <clears throat> You're, I, I think you're blocked. Like, you're blocked and slowly moving away from this. So, it might be a good thing. If you're dealing with a Leo, I would keep your guard up. There's a connection between a Queen of Cups over here. In whomever this other energy is, King of Pence. So this King of Pence has multiple men, multiple women. And they're staying silent. Like they're not talking to you. They're not telling you something. And you're over here like Queen of Cups is over here too. You're coming up as Queen of Cups and Princess of Wands type energy. And... When this one communicates, it's kind of like, I don't think they throw you off balance. But this energy is more focused on the Queen of Cups. They might have had a Leo that walks away from them because of a third party and they're starting a new cycle and this might not even be yours. Because you guys are all linked. And the masculine wants a new start between either a Queen of Cups or a Queen of Swords energy. He's choosing one of them. Strong Cancer on both sides. Doesn't matter what zodiac you're at, though. That's irrelevant at this point. Let me just see if I see anything else. They're trying to figure out how to communicate, too. They see growth and potential. So you're coming in as a, a, a Leo, too. But same thing. 
you both can't get yourselves out of each other's head. You're both at two, two minds. So the communication might stall a little bit. But they're either looking at the potential, they, they, mm, they don't know what to do either. If you, it doesn't look like it's going to shut down. Yeah, the two of wands too. So they want to put an offer back out. They got the wheel too. They want a new cycle too. Well, they know you're going into a new cycle. They know. I think this is more like, hey, I'm worried. What's this four cups? I feel like this four of cups is more like if I put the offer out there, I think it's more fear of rejection. Four of cups, four of cups. Nine of cups, emperor, temperance. So they're trying to temper their energy right now. This is somebody who does things their way. They try to control it. The temperance here always reminds me of like the two of cups energy, right? So they're trying to control their emotions. This combo is arrogant. You're dealing with somebody who's arrogant and is trying to control their feelings. This energy is trying to control. But I'm sure you're very aware of that. This isn't like a, a reconciliation. This is arrogant energy. Um... Healing might be needed with this situation. You're dealing with somebody who wants to keep their options open. They, it's like they want to offer you a cup and rebuild, but they'd rather just like watch you from the sidelines than to manifest or do anything right this second. There, there's still somebody else in the picture. I mean, it's, it's a given. This third party is not over. So be real careful taking that coin. Like, real careful. It looks like you're both in that energy of, I don't, I don't know. And I don't blame you. I think this energy is fully aware and has already left the scene. Because their overall energy, the feminine, is, is walking away. Maybe in hope something will come back around, but... Not not right now. The, the, the block in temptation. Feminine's block in temptation. Anything like that right now. They're very aware of your energy. But there's somebody else in the picture. I don't know. It's like they want to offer that coin, but... What is this coin? You got the devil and the eight of cups. Right? So see what I'm saying? Like... It's like they're walking away from it too. So I don't know if somebody came back around on their side. So it does look like they're possibly walking away from one person and thinking about another. But the devil and the eight of cups is, is not good energy. They could have been walking away from something they were already invested in, the empress. So it looks like they were married, deceive, lies, deception, stabbed in the back. No one wins. Competition, arrogance, narcissism. I mean, ugh. 
So it, it looks like the masculine is walking away, especially if they're married because the emperor's up there. Toxic relationship. So they might take a chance with the ex-husband or wife or an ex, but in the long run, it, they would still end up walking away from each other because it's toxic. Others of you, they're not taking a chance. They didn't take the offer. And they, they, they're they more interested in, in someone else. There's another energy that has their attention. So they're trying to strategize, trying to figure out how to communicate. But you're dealing, this energy is trying to control the situation. I think the feminine over here has already took themselves out of the equation, knows exactly what she wants, her own worth. That's for sure. They're just trying to figure out how to get to you. So, let's see if there's anything else. So if you were fully aware of a third party, there looks like there was definitely an empress that tried to, um, cause they would look at, they were definitely invested in a relationship or a marriage, but there was deception. Okay. Whether it was her or him feel stabbed in the back. No one wins competition. You know what I mean? Like it's not, so they didn't, it looks like the, it looks like the masculine didn't take the new start. Someone tried to come in and try to stabilize something, and they said, nah, well, this is going to happen over the weekend. Because they want a new cycle, too. They want to go in a new direction, too. So whatever this is between the two of you, if you're not the husband or the wife, Looks like it's going to come back around whether you take it or leave it. It's one of those take it or leave it situations. It's just three of cups. They might ask to grab a drink or coffee, something to eat. But you got the world. You might not even. This is three of cups. So that was a third party. So it's, it's not even an invitation. Yeah. It's the ending it's the ending of something to have a new beginning. So the you, the feminine definitely ended put a put an end to the third party was like no freaking way. And I really think they're looking at it like this was way too risky anyway. You just focused on you. You want truth, you want clarity, like, you're just moving forward, slowly but surely, you're just, you're focused on you right now. So there was definitely interference, something got in the way, but there's a new cycle for both of you. Will you forgive, will you give a second chance, or do they have to forgive you and you need to give them a second chance, however it works for you, it looks like they're the ones that need want the second chance with the feminine. So they're finally stepping out of something this weekend. They're realizing that there, there's no fulfillment there. Or they already realized it. All right. That's really all I see. I'm glad. Um, 
I'm glad there's a new cycle on both ends because this, this energy is a lot to like read. It's like, yay, new cycle. Whoop, whoop. I do just want to clarify what this temperance is on their side. Because they're trying to, I think they're just trying to control their feelings where they, exactly, where they invest their time, their money. I don't really think, um, yeah, so they're moving away from a situation, something they were invested in, you know, laying the weight down. It's the queen of wands in the picture. Yeah, they're trying to control their feelings when it comes to her, which is probably you guys, the feminine. And that's two energies of Sag, because I, as I'm looking, I'm looking up and I'm like, he's really scoping her out. So I just wanted to clarify that real quick. So he's trying to control how he feels. It's, it's a lot. So he knows that she's slowly slipping away. He knows the ball's in his court when it comes to something. And and you are, because you had the, the same energy over here, too. A lot of people think, oh, when I walk away, it's over, it's over, it's done. You know, like, this one really wraps it up with the world. Or the third party's just finito. But there's a second chance for you both to go in the same direction again, to get on the same page. Because you both have the wheel, you both have the two of wands in the wheel with second chances. They are controlling how they feel, though. Ladies, be careful. In men, you're dealing with somebody who, who won't settle for, for less. That is for sure. Looks like my feminine had just taken a break. Tower three, yeah, see. You got hurt in the process. You were like, frig this. You cut this energy right out. The minute you knew something was going on, instant block, which is smart. You knew somebody, you knew this energy was keeping their options open. So I don't, I don't blame you. And they're coming up as the king of wands here. So you nip that in the butt too. So ultimately, ladies and gents, it does look like they're walking away from a toxic situation. Somebody did want another offer, but they didn't take it. I don't know what type of seriousness you would get from this energy, though. I just know what the cards are saying. I just know, basically, there's another chance. There was another chance with somebody else, which was probably the Empress. Okay. Because um, we saw all that. So now they want a second chance with this energy. Yeah, they were given. They were given to both energies for sure.
Be careful, troops. Holy shit, the same three effing cards just came out. The same exact three. Okay, so... Someone does want that balance, but I, I just, I don't know. I think they're lying about how they feel. Looks like they had something very karmic on this side going on. There's a chance. I don't know who this energy is or if that's just a, a brand new person because your wheel is bringing in the King of Cups, the Prince of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. That's contentment. That's somebody who shares their feelings. That's somebody who wants contentment. You're not going to settle for less with your, with your wheel. Let's see what their wheel is. So we know what you want from your wheel, the feminine energy. You just you just want somebody who can take control. Not in this controlling way though. It's all about your your contentment. And yeah, see this one's still like with their wheel, like all stuck up. They're just stuck in their head when it comes to their ten of cups. So I don't know if they're about to have a wake up call. But they can't stop either thinking about you or or someone else. See, this energy is not, not quite ready. So it, it is taking it is taking a risk. And it's and it, it is the King of Cups. But we have the Empress at the bottom of the deck with the Six of Coin and Justice wanting to give their cup to somebody and, and to rebuild. So, but there's some shady shit still going on. This other energy is not out of the picture, ladies. Not really, not completely, not yet. It's like they're battling hat over head. Head over heart, whatever the saying is. You know what I mean? They're using their head and not their heart. And you're looking for somebody where there's feelings, there's a t um, contentment. You're dealing with somebody who's very detached emotionally. There's no emotions, very detached. And you're coming in as the Queen of Cups, so you wear your hat on the sleeve. Like, you're not dealing with anybody that's detached. So, it looks like you made the right decision. So... If this energy shifts, I, I mean, it's, it's ultimately, it's, it's really on you, on what you're going to do when this energy comes back in, because right now they're trying to control how they feel, they're trying to control certain situations on how certain stuff goes. Yeah, it does look like they're leaving a toxic situation, but it, it's not it's not done, it's not finito, it's, it's still around. So you might want to give this a little more time. It looks like they, you know, they actually want to offer one of the other lovers. The lovers, they're not going to take the coin because there's another lover. So they're not taking, they're not taking anything. They're still trying to reach out, still trying to communicate, still trying to figure things out, right? 
you on the other hand it looks like they are going to come in and want forgiveness though so I, I don't know if this is what you're going to get because I can clearly see what it is you want you've already been hurt from this situation you took yourself out of the equation you already walked away from it took you long enough to walk away but you definitely ended it there's no question for your own sanity and to me it's like you didn't even take a break you're like frig this it could have been a Leo involved you walked away cancer involved you walk away Scorpio energy I mean they're coming in strong they're coming in strong Capricorn um Taurus, Virgo, whatever, earth sign. And the feminine's coming in strong fire and strong water. Doesn't It really doesn't matter what propensity, though. All right. <clears throat> I hope that helps you make your decision. Um, I can't, you know, it's up to you. I can't really tell you where to go with this. Um... But I did plenty of digging for you, and it, it doesn't look like, you know, some of you, it's just this energy on this side is just not, not ready. And this energy on this side is ready, but is not settling. So it looks like you got your act together. They may be trying to pull their act together. You're just dealing with somebody who's very detached, so don't let somebody come in and just try to like sway you and and I'm sorry and you know it, it's it, you're gonna need time. Um, so. How do I want to do this? Because I keep getting pulled to these cards throughout the whole reading, and I was like, no, I don't even want to go there. But I just got pulled to them again. So, let me see what the feminine truly wants. Well, we know what the feminine truly wants. She's not going to settle. So, what does the masculine truly want? See, I don't really, I don't think I can ask it like that either. Well, I can and I can't. Kisses, unconditional loving, giving, receiving, affection, falling in love. So this energy might be falling in love with you or they're, they're already, you know, been in love, that type of stuff. Okay, so you got a love, you got engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union, kisses, falling in love. Someone expresses how they love, thinking about you. So I don't think he's dealing with an awful guy, okay? I just, right now, they're detached. And, and they want the kind of the same thing you want, but they're not, they're not giving it to you. It doesn't mean you stick around and wait. And I'm not trying to be a pessimist here, troops. I'm, I'm trying to give you reality of, of what's happening and what I'm seeing right in front of me. Like, we need to clear cycles right so if this is how you know they feel but they're not giving it to you i don't blame you for walking away especially if there's somebody else this it's up to this person to realize this is ultimately what they want and clearly it's in front of them and they have to choose and it looks like they don't want to they it's like they shut down and put an end to everything but they still want to keep an open line of communication with you which is not really fair see what i'm saying so it's not that you're dealing with a bad person. This is somebody that really wants what you want, but it's going to take time for them to get there. And I don't know if they're just trying to like string you along so you don't go anywhere in the meantime, but that that's not on them. You, you got things to do. You got priorities. So don't, don't let this energy entrap you because this is the type of energy where somebody's like, I know they felt that way and 
That's why you keep the door open. And that's why you repeat cycles out of hopes and you think you know. If this person is not expressing this, then you don't know. And that's why you walked away. And if you haven't walked away, you're about to this weekend because you're like, enough's enough. Because this has been going on. I've been reading this for weeks and weeks and weeks. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm like being real careful. I mean, real, um, that's why I'm doing lots of digging for you right now. Because these cycles need to break. And if you guys end up getting this cycle because you walked away and did what was best for you, then great. Then that's, that's what it took. But if not, you wouldn't accept anything less anyway. You know where your priorities are at. Okay, so it's tough because, like I said, their their energy, their overall energy was the King of Pens, the Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Wanting to reach out but being guarded. What was that other one? Um, let's just get the overall energy real quick. Let's see if I can get one card for the masculine overall for the masculine this weekend. Because I know the feminine had the star and the two of wands. Page of coins, so they, they might come rushing in, okay, but they're still blocked and guarded, okay, so they're still holding back their cup, right? So, like I said, that communication was coming in anyway, they're gonna try, but this isn't this is practical, you know, this this has nothing to do, there's no cups here, <laughs> there's still no feelings here, it's a seed. Not, and I'm not trying to harp down this person's energy. I'm trying to get us all pushed through a cycle. This, this one wants answers. And they're not offering much. They're coming in as a page. Right? This is what I offer. Take it or leave it. <laughs> yeah. This is what I offer. Take it or leave it. I'm watching you. Like, I don't see. It's just like Mingya. You're dealing with a stubborn ass. I mean, you might be just as stubborn, but that take it or leave it shit wouldn't fly with me. That's just my experience. I'm giving you something to go on. Everybody's different, right? Some of you might be like, oh, yeah, I'll take it. Like, really? Okay, no judgment. Just know the wheel's there and there's a chance you can repeat the cycle. So if you want to stay in it for another three months, six months, whatever freaking floats your boat, troops. But I'm telling you, I'm stepping out of this. I'm stepping out of the cycle of reading this. So we're going to move past this. Okay. So you know that's coming. Let's see how the let's see how you feel about this. Cuz this one wants answers. This is what I can give you. That's it right now. But they also want to question you. Okay? You're definitely holding yourself in high regard. And and you're going to want to know, too, certain stuff. Yeah, Queen of Pence, Eight of Wands, Seven of Cups. See, you're no joke. You you know this, this en other energy is here.
You're not having it. You're keeping your options open. You might communicate with this person. If it's the same person, if you guys are the same person, it's just you're holding yourself in high regards. You're keeping your options open. You know your worth. Could be just focused on work. Because, I mean, you're coming in as the damn Empress and Queen of Pence. You know this energy is watching you. But you're just holding yourself in high regards. This is this is lesson learned for damn sure. Yeah, you're not taking jack shit right now. <laughs> Good for you, ladies. Good for you. All right. I wish you I wish you luck over the weekends. Okay, just worry about you, focus on you, take care of yourselves, your chicklins, your home, your work. Clean out the damn closets. You know what I mean? Cleaning out my closet. I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to make you cry, but tonight I'm cleaning out my closet. What's that about? Maybe they're cleaning out their closets because they hurt you. I don't know. You, you do got somebody that wants a lot of whole lot of love okay but until they start reciprocating and showing it and you know you're like I'll do me in a very productive way so good for you guys I love you guys have a great weekend where's my mouse I love you guys bye